Day to viewers, the Colonel speak to you live from the Grange British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. And today another g &T. This is GC1312, a Hamlet's soliloquy on death. From Hamlet by Shakespeare, of course, Act 3, Scene 1, spoken by Herbert Beerbohm Tree. Here we go. It's a bit faint, unfortunately, viewers, but there we go. It's recorded 1905. Not to be. That is the question. What else is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous crosses, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by a holy To die. And by a sweet to stay in the hearty and the thousand natural shocks that let it air to die. To sleep. A chance to breathe. I there's the rust. Or in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when you look shuffled off this mortal coil must give us cause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life, for who would bear the whips and storms of time? The oppressor's wrong. The proud man's consumable, the pangs of death times beyond, the Lord's delay, the insolence of office, and the terms of faith and merit of the unworthy faith. When he himself might be tried of nature, who was a fair and Who would pardon bear to grunt and sweat under a weary light? That's the dread of something I forget. The undiscovered country from whom poor no traveler is far. Puzzles the wheels and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. <sighs> that conscience that makes powers of it all and that the native view of revolution is to clear off with a pain past the cross. And enterprises of great fists of moments, with this regard their current turn arise, and lose the name of action. The fame of me, in thy origin, we all my Well, there we are, viewers. Another cheerful one. <laughs> Hopefully you, you could actually uh, hear it. Thank you and goodbye.